Vancouver has an inclusionary zoning policy. Can you tell us a little bit about what that might entail and whether that would be a good strategy for Toronto? Um, inclusionary zoning uh, is what it sounds like. We're going to include everyone in a rezoning. Uh, and so if, uh, if, if there is a tower being built, it will require that a certain percentage of that be affordable. Um, there are a lot of housing advocates who are strongly in favor of that, and there are some who, who aren't. Um, and there, there's, there's points of merit on both sides of it. I don't think that it will come about, it, provincially it has to be legislated, and I don't think that that will happen over the next little while. Um, but uh, I, the challenges with inclusionary zoning um, are not every building is it appropriate for that to happen. I can't. I don't believe that Trump Tower. It would be appropriate to necessarily have 30 percent of that housing be uh, affordable in in that tower. Um, and so it needs to be uh, carefully done. I'm much more on the Section 37 side of things, which offers instead of punitively saying to a developer, "You've got to do it." and for something that might not necessarily fit, let's provide them cookies and benefits for doing it and, and actually have partnerships uh, in, in making it ha happen. I'll give you a, a quick example. I used to be with, with Tridel uh, 12 years ago. Uh, and, uh, and, and I had the opportunity. So you could have been sitting on that chair. I could have been on that chair. Right. I, I've switched sides, um, but, but it's actually not a side thing. And I, you know, for the most part, we really do need to, we do need to work together. Um, and I had the opportunity to be um, to, to work on Tem Bel Air, and if those of you who know Yorkville, it's a wonderful building. Uh, that uh, that uh, it's a fancy pants building, I think would be the simple way to describe it. And we were required to build ten affordable housing units. We were forced to do it, so we did, and we used the city's definition of affordable housing at the at the time. And what was that? We built ten 450 square foot units that we sold 12 years ago for $500,000 each, and, that, and we fulfilled our commitment to building affordable housing. And, and, and so when you force it in, there's a problem, but when you, and so, so I'm not a, a strong advocate in terms of uh, inclusionary zoning, I am much more an advocate on, let's see if we can work with developers so that they benefit by doing good. Fair enough. Let's turn to you, I suspect there are going to be a number of questions.